Disney night of Rapunzel and the Raven. And right now we're in the museum for Rapunzel and the Raven where all our hard work will be done. This is the whole entire script. The whole script is like, um, there are different scenes and the, uh, in the thing. Um, and uh, there's eight scenes. While we were working on these set models over here, this is scene four, the ballroom. Scene one, cottage. And scene six, the cottage. We, we made all of these together. I like um, this one because uh, they paint some things, like they paint like these things. And I also like the chair. Tell me that scene four. Um, I like it because we add more details and like glitter and a lot of sparkly stuff on it. I like the king and the queen's thrones, but you won't see the twirly stuff because we didn't have time for it. The way we got the ideas is over there, you'll see like some research. That right here is our like research for the costume. Giselles. What is your name? Hi, I'm Jonathan Freeman. What do you play in the show um, Je um, Aladdin? Uh, in the original uh, film of Aladdin, I'm the voice of Jafar, who's the, um, you know, the villain, the bad guy in the movie. And, um, and I came about a year ago, I guess, to visit your class, and we had a big conversation about it, and we actually did some scenes. Have you ever been involved in a program? When I was about seven years old, maybe eight, I uh, was in a children's theater group in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. So I did similar things, but I'm not sure how elaborate. I mean, this is very elaborate, and the cost I looked at the costume designs, the set designs. I mean, you've done everything. Your class has done everything. It's fantastic. This is um, Matthew Reinhardt's pop-up books. And this is... Um, the care. That's the care. This is Into the Woods. And if you look carefully, there's a face, the two eyes, and then the mouth right there. We made these pop-ups in kindergarten. I didn't make them. No, I didn't. And this is the Grim Fairy Tales books. Tell me why these books are important to the study. These are really important because we were studying fairy tales and we and we wanted to find out more about them so we chose these ones and then these right here are puppets that we made in kindergarten these are all photographs that Maria took Lucas's mom and these are books that you may touch you may only touch books and then this is the first version of Rapunzel and the Raven before it's called Rapunzel and the Raven it was called um, Rapunzel it's a very exciting program for the children they get to um, be exposed to all the different arts and meet different theater guests and learn all about the different theater jobs and then each child takes on their own theater job and learns about their responsibilities and they create the whole show. And when you need it to be darker, you put more blue. And then when you need it to be lighter, you put more white. And then when you want to like make make light more like interesting, you put a gel in front and then you get a piece of paper and put it there and then it makes a color. It's like any other study at Midtown West. It just is a way to engage kids, especially at this age, uh, to engage them in something that interests them. And the theater study we felt really gave openings to kids just across so many disciplines and so many types of things, whether performing or uh, collecting money at the box office or whatever. I mean, there's such a variety of just all of those things. It's great fun, I think, you know, for everybody. My job's a director. It was really fun because you got to, like, um, watch them and see how they're doing and, and add something on, like a little liner, like, 
like little dance or a move that they call, that they do. When I was working with Henry, when he was walking in, I was telling him to like do some movements and like be scared because he's going into the witch's garden. The fight we're, sh we're showing is a husband versus the, the br two briars. Put your mind to it, it's so easy. Tickets. The best thing to do is just get it sold out and the sign's right up there. I'm a ticket taker and I ripped all the tickets. I have to check if they're upstairs or downstairs. Dressing two people. So I'm a wardrobe. I feel really happy about it. Like, it's a really nice job. So a, a wardrobe is like, like something, like somebody who, who like, dresses the people so so they can be ready. If, if, if we didn't have a wardrobe, then, then, then how would the show be quick changing? I have to do a quick change in scene two. And we have to do quick changes. And um, it's really hard because like when we're doing the quick change, it's really loud and it's hard to like 
can't do it because it's so loud. I'm I'm helping her with these braids because somehow it came out. It's actually really fun and I dress Kate. I dress Kate, Olivia and Henry. And it's really fun because you get to it's like almost co collaborating with them and you a little bit learn from yourself when you get dressed and if you don't know something Brian or Kristen explains it to you and then you can try it in rehearsals and then you, later on you get the hang of it and before the show you just know it. I kind of like being the narrator because it's kind of fun that you get away that you get to like read all like the story. And I like reading. I'm Lettuce and Bell, so I'm in two parts. I'm in um scene two and scene four. I'm Pierce and this is my briar costume. You see it falls off a lot, so but there's so much that we just try to stick it on and there's a little secret. You see, um under my briar costume, there's a bird costume. See? Blue bird costume. Because in scene three and seven, I'm a bird flying. My job is to be um the briar and the king, which is an actor. Um and so like as I'm wearing the briar costume, it might make a little of a mess. Um yeah, and so it does feel like it it feels like the dramas and stuff like that. And they don't really are not that sturdy. And so and the king costume, it's really complicating because there's a, like a lot of stuff to it. And so since there's a lot of stuff to it, it actually kind of like makes it look a little fat. But mm -hmm. my job is an actor, and it's really fun. And what role do you play? It's really fun to be a witch because then you get to do stuff that you can do in real life, and you get to do whatever you want, scream loud, and you can actually express yourself and act. And the do you way have you a want. favorite scene? My favorite scene is scene eight. Scene eight. What happens in that scene? Scene eight. What happens is like, like I'm here and they are trying to find Rapunzel, the baby Rapunzel, which I, which I took, and it's really fun. And so you can actually express yourself. When you're falling, I get to, we get to all scream out loud, but we can't do that in real life. We can't be evil or anything. My job is an actor, and I'm playing a tomato, and I'm also playing this princess, Ariel, and um, she's a mermaid, and it's really fun to act, because like, when you're being a mermaid, you have a tail, and it's, a tail is not the same thing as a person, and a person just has legs, and it's fun to be a mermaid. I'm a carrot, and I really like to sing because it's fun, and you want to have fun the most, and I'm, I'm a carrot. I'm also Jasmine and I and I think it's really fun because I'm cuz there's a ball and I'm late. I'm an actor. I play the Raven in Rapunzel and the Raven and I'm just so psyched about it to like be in front of all these people and a big opportunity and stuff like that. I really like First Year Dream because it really, um, like, sort of lets out all the lo beautifulness and how much you love to go and actually fly in the world. Um, so here I am in my costume. I'm in scene four. That's the ballroom scene, and I'm the queen in the ballroom scene. And scene eight is the, uh, like, Everyone did it. Mm -hmm. 
I'm an actor, and it is really fun being like a part of this study and having all f all this fun and doing all of this and. It's amazing, and my favorite scene is scene seven. We're pretending to fly to um, the tower, and it's fun and exciting, and yeah. Like the song, the song that I sing, it's like magical. It's I. It's it's just that you express yourself. Uh, on how you really, really want to keep the baby, and you want to be like uh, a mother, and and have a family. And first you dream, it's like Henry is really like, like making sure that I'm safe because I'm his wife. So I'm an actor and I'm the lead in this play called Rapunzel and the Raven. I practice really, really hard for this part. The best part, I know what the best part will be. The actual show that we've been, wor that we've been working, that we've been working for. Please take your seat now! Tell her that you laugh. The show will begin soon! Please everybody take your seat! Don't tell me what's going on.
the show at scene four. What? Can you hold this up so I can see? Uh, this costume is the first one Rapunzel's wearing. So in the first thing, and then the one she's wearing right now is kind of good. are the rest of the actors. See? Judah Hi, here mommy. plays the king. No, this is not your mom, Judah. Oh. Make sure your white ring doesn't show.
you're gonna help us. Show. You should watch it sometime. We were in the show before. It was called The Tale of Rachel and Jack. That was just really amazing. Was it great? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Uh, I liked all of it. All the kids gave such a wonderful job and a wonderful performance. Every single one of them. Every job's important. We loved it. Thank you, Brian and Kristen. I like the part when um, the raven made a plan to trick the witch so that Rapunzel could go back to her family. I think they did a terrific job and they, all their hard work really paid off, so I'm very proud of them. Oh my god, it was like a Broadway special all-star production. Kids of the first grade, you were amazing. Your stage presence, your hard work, the stage manager and stage hands and director and everything. It was impressive. Can't wait to see it again tomorrow. My favorite part was when the when the raven uh, sorry, when the witch like just like it's like she like the mother gave she was having her moment and the witch is coming to snatch the baby. Ugh I'm verklempt. That was it was amazing. All the work that went into that, Brian and Kristen, you're amazing. I don't know how you did that. Plus, teach the curriculum, and the kids were just in the moment. I am just blown away. I can't wait to see you tomorrow night and Wednesday at school. <laughs> Made it worth coming from Georgia all the way to see that grandchild and how wonderful everything was. Absolutely professional, really. It was part? Favorite part? Well, of course, mine was the stagehand, so that had to be, and I, how they lined them up exactly on the things, that was perfect. <laughs> Enjoyed it. Oh my God, I laughed, I cried, I whooped for joy, and I bit my nails, and I hunched in my seat, and I was nervous, but oh my God, they're amazing. The kids are amazing. I'm about to cry. <laughs> it was awesome. I thought that the show was really good. My favorite bit of it was at the end, the punchline. I came all the way for this. I thought that the play was awesome, and I liked when they all sang the song Harmony together in the end. Um, I really liked when the family all got together. It was like a big family bond. I liked when, when, the, when the bird made the witch die. It was amazing. It was. It was. I was totally blown away. First by the whole theater study film that happened, and then the forget about it. The kids were amazing. Amazing. She was a wreck. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, I already talked about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was a wreck too. Don't tell Layla anybody. Did. How how was the show? Very good. I liked the part when we all sang. Um, I'll do anything. Um, did you like the other sh um, parts? Which part did um, you in the show did you like? I liked, um, actually I liked every part. 
What is your very favorite part? Um, um, my part when I sing it to go at night with singing. Uh, did you like Hold it? On, start over. Start over. Uh, I liked it. Uh, of the. Uh, well, it was sort of like. Fun? Yeah, fun. Uh, it was one of the most amazing shows I've seen all year. Uh, it's just incredible the amount of talent and energy, enthusiasm, and creativity that was on the stage today. It was amazing. It was just an incredible performance. The poster was beautiful. It turned out just as amazingly as I thought it would. And I'm really proud of everyone, and they did great work. And the show's fabulous. Well, I mean, I, I did this what is it, four or five years ago now. So, I mean, it, it, it's really, it, it probably means a bit more to me than it does to some of, so, some other kids because I've actually gone through it. I know what they're feeling. I, I can relate with them. So it, 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 and it, it also brings back such memories. It's just amazing. It was fantastic. I really haven't been so entertained in a long time. <laughs> It was fantastic, and it broke my heart a little bit, too. It's really beautiful. Yeah, I guess they don't do eight shows a week. No, it would be no. great, right? <laughs> too bad. It was a great, great play. This is his fourth fourth play for Brian. He's my son, so I'm very proud of him. And uh, i got friends from Boston. They come from Boston and Connecticut coming down to see this great show. The kids were great. Couldn't ask for anything better. I mean, it was a uh, great, great show. I'm very proud. I'm very proud of him and all the kids. Best show yet. He's, he, he got to top it again in two years. I don't know. Unbelievable. And I'm waiting for the Tony Award Sunday. I think they should get a Tony. Yeah, I, I auditioned for that, but they didn't want me. So I'm a little upset. <laughs> this was an awesome experience, and I came all the way from California. It was just great. Well, I'm just I'm so proud of the kids and that they can you know pull this together. But you know it's really about everyone coming together. So I couldn't have done this without the support of parents and the parents who made the costumes and the parents who played in the orchestra and the parents who came and moved the set every morning you know for us to get ready. So for me, it's really about everyone coming together and working together, being together, celebrating this community together. Um, and so I think that's the most you know important and special thing for me is seeing how you know all of the parts come together to make this exciting show and you know and to see the kids work hard and to work on the show for the past you know year and a half really um, and to be proud of their individual jobs um, you know each kid had a special part of this show and I think it showed whether you went to the museum or watched the film um, or in, during the live performance, but you know, I think everyone was proud and everyone felt like they had contributed something great, you know, this evening.